Hey guys, um, April is National Poetry Month. So tonight we are going to read a poem written by Mary Howlett with the illustrations by Tony Dieterlitzi. They are beautiful pictures and it's a beautiful poem. And we're going to try this month to read a couple of poems that are been turned into books, but this is one of my favorites. The Spider and the Fly. And all of the pictures take place inside a dollhouse. So it's a spider and a fly, but they're all, it looks like a big mansion, but it's really a dollhouse. There's the playroom. So you have a phonograph, which is like an old record player and books. And then there's the dollhouse. There's the spider. Will you walk into my parlor? Said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair. And I have many curious things to show you when you are there. No, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain. For who goes up your winding stair can ne'er come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed, said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn round. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you'd like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. For I've often heard it said, they never, never wake up again, those who sleep upon your bed. said the cunning spider to the fly. Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good food of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry. I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gosling wings. How brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'd step in just one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you please to say. And bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider turned himself around and went into his den, for he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright. 
but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly, hearing his withering, flattering words, came slowly fluttering by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then narrowly, narrowly drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head, Poor foolish thing, at last, up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor. She never came down again. And now, dear little children, for who may this story read? To idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you never give heed. Upon an even counselor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. And there she is. She's now a ghost. And it's a beautiful book, isn't it? And it's got beautiful words. And we will read a poem probably next week. So I'll look for my books and find another poem book. Have a good night.